Hello and welcome to the Queen's Lair. It's your girl, the Mad Queen. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the heroes you should not build. Um, and if you've seen my video that showcases the best non triple S heroes in the game, I am actually going to take a couple of those back because I've done some more testing, I've had better gear, and I know that they are just not worth the resources and not worth the time. So let's head into the heroes and we'll go ahead and start. So the first one is actually going to be Karma. Um, I actually had Karma in the top five best non triple S heroes. And Karma, <laughs> um, I probably thought that Karma was good um, in the very beginning. But Carmel really doesn't do a ton of damage, and he's very underwhelming, and there are just more heroes that have AoE attacks, which means they can hit multiple enemies at once with their attacks, and that can do more damage. So Carmel is one that you should definitely not put any time into for a while. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our next one, and that's going to be Langel. Langel is another one, um, and I actually, I'll, I'll mention after this, Langel was a hero, another hero that I used in the beginning, um, and put a lot of resources and time into, and um, was trying to max him out, and Langel is... He's not awful, okay? He's okay. <laughs> but that's it. He's okay. Um, and he could be really good, um, I think, in the late game. So he's another one that you definitely want to put on the back burner until late game. Um, Langel and Carmel, I actually decided to recall. So I got all of my resources back for them because... I wanted to be able to put those resources into heroes that were going to actually help me progress faster in the game. The next one is going to be Murphyro. Murphyro. I never know how to say some of these names. Um, he's actually a an AoE champion, um, but unfortunately, and Honestly, there's been a decent amount of hype over this guy, and he is another hero that is not going to be good until the end game. Um, so if you're in the beginning or middle game, don't build him. You're not going to have the gear that you need that's actually going to make him good and viable. Um, and even in late game, that's it's kind of questionable. Um, it's really going to be in-game players that are going to have the gear that's going to make him good and usable. I do want to add quickly that the only reason um, I have some of these guys um, ascended so many times is because the game just kept giving me copies of them during summons. Um, and so I just went ahead and kept putting the copies in. And that's the only reason for some of these, especially this guy. The game loves to give me, loves to give me copies of Hypnos. Um, next, we have Xander. And this is probably going to be another unpopular opinion, but that's okay. Um, Xander... Um, is supposed to be a very hard hitting single target damage dealer, okay? Um, and Xander is not good in the early to mid game. And it's going to take very late or in game gear to also make Xander good. So, this is another hero that you do not want to build in the beginning of your gameplay in Eternal Evolution because it is going to be a waste of your time and a waste of your resources. 
And another, another one I want to mention. I actually don't have this hero anymore uh, because I have been just feeding the copies into <laughs> into um, other heroes, which you shouldn't always do that by any means. I'm not telling you to, but that's why I don't have it. And it's Orn. Um, Orn is another hero that honestly even with in-game gear is probably not going to be very good so i would just i would probably stay away from this hero altogether in general um doesn't do a lot of damage and if you're gonna go for um a robot that can do aoe damage or just a lot of damage period you can get that from either omar or the bot mark too Uh, for now, that is going to be all the heroes I mentioned. There probably are a couple more, but those are some of the more high heroes that um, a lot of people use or like to talk about that are really just high heroes for some reason I cannot understand. Not saying that some of them can't be good, but you really, really have to have amazing gear for some of them to be good. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you're a new player looking for advice or an experienced player willing to give advice, join my growing Discord community. I'll leave the link for that in the description. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's the Mad Queen, and I'll catch you in the next video.